cheer louder than the West Division. We do know the MCs over in West. Their names are Matt and Leslie. We've both worked with them before, and we have a friendly competition going that we can get our crowd louder. So for what is potentially the last match of the finals, I don't know which teams you came here with, but no matter what, I want you to cheer as loud as you can towards the end. We will also, when we say, like, oh, we'll start the match in... 3, 2, 1, which we're not doing right now, but when we say that, you count with us. You can count down. You can say the 3, 2, 1. Yell it. We want you to be so loud that Matt and Leslie hear you, and they get intimidated, and then we win. Definitely. We are going to do this as a crowd, and as a small secret, we do have home field advantage. That's right. Wes will be coming over here to play the grand finals, so we want to blow them out of the water. ready to start the second match of the finals. So, on the Blue Alliance from Brentwood, Tennessee, we have 9364C, Iron Eagle, Speed of Light, and their partner, 10012G, 10-time robotics from West Vancouver, British Columbia. Give them a round of applause. And on the Red Alliance from Redwood, Washington, we have 10C Exothermic Creation. And from Tavares, Tavares, Florida, we have 229V Ace Robotics. Give them a round of applause, the Red Alliance. All right, audience, to get these teams motivated, you are all going to count down with me. We'll start this match in three, two, one. This time it looks like Blue will win the tug of war. Ten ton robotics snatching that middle tri ball. Uh -oh. oh, but Exothermic Creation, they have maybe five balls in their goal as well. Oh, red, red oh, this red is red going to be all right. Red takes autonomous now. Once again, count down with me. Driver control in three, two, one, go. <laughs> And the driver control period is off. 10 ton robotics, 10012G crossing the barrier and going in for some defense early on. Definitely, but red is no slouch either. It looks like they're trying to actually bat away some of those tri balls. Look at that red pushes three over, and they have a slow lead in terms of goal tri balls. Oh, yeah, the red line sees what a major threat Iron Eagle Speed of Light poses. They can load these balls in so quickly, and if they're left under checked they can fill up their goal in seconds definitely but don't forget red is no slouch either it looks like if i'm not mistaken this is going to be a very similar case to last match it's going to be a shootout Ooh, blue just pushed about five tri balls in oh yeah iron eagle speed of light saw that opening and they got three more balls pushed into their goal right now this looks so even they might make the upset here and you know what? Red is actually on the back foot here. They play an aggressive defense plus match load strategy. Oh, 10 ton robotics stuck in the back, in the front for you guys. Just defense gone raw on that end. Definitely, and 10 ton and nice robotics are doing a little tango. 10C is trying to deflect from Iron Eagles. And we are in the final 30 seconds of the match. They're coming towards the end. And make that 13 seconds, not 30. We have 10 seconds left. If you're going to hang, if you're going to elevate, you better do it now. Five, four, three, two, one. And that is finals number two. What a close match. You know, for much of the match, I noticed it was a 1v1, Iron Eagles and 10C Exothermic Creation going at it. And which team do you think might come away with the win here? I really have no idea. I think coming in, a lot of... 
as people might have expected, a really shut out match from Ace coming off the back of their win in the last one, but Blue closer than ever. It, it might, like the elevation level on Red might make it for Blue. Maybe, but we do have to remember Red did win autonomous. So the refs are discussing also if there were any rule violations, but that's neither here nor there. Right now, we're going to let the refs score this match up. With wings like that, it would not be 